Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to pin a Chinese praying mantis. So here's my mantis collection. So I got two Chinese praying mantises here, an egg case, and then all the rest of these are Carolina mantises with one male, all the rest are females. But yeah, so I got these two and then this one. So the first thing you do is to get the pin, the first pin through the abdomen here and then we got to place this down um, where it goes so if we place this right in the middle here about there yeah so right about here okay push it into the padding. Then we take our little pins and we gotta position the legs. So I'll start with the back legs. Basically, just got to get um, enough of them in there to hold them in the position that is right. Or at least the one that looks best. And yeah, when they're fresh dead, they're really flexible. So that's when it's time to do it. Um, yeah. And her legs are sticking up a tad bit so I can kind of do that yeah except I want them farther back there we go okay then time for the other one problem is they're sticky little feet with the spine so they kind of stick into the um foam so it makes it kind of complicated. Um, which, yeah, kind of sucks, but um, yeah. And yeah, well, the good thing to do is to get pins on both sides um, so that um, it kind of like holds it in place. See, I got like both of these legs down and actually I need to get, uh, actually, yeah, if I loosen this up a bit. Okay, then what we can do is we can take a pen for the foot to get it kind of spread out like that. And just to make sure that this one um, stays like that, I'll just put a pin in there. And yes, there's a hair here, which I've seen this whole time and maybe I can get it out. Yeah, here we go. Okay, yeah, problem with having cats. Okay, <clears throat> middle legs. So, as some of you may know, this is Pickle, and Pickle had a tendency to chew off parts of her feet, so we're missing some here. Um, so if I stick one of these right about here, and then this one here, and here, and then we'll fix that foot if I can. Oop, it just broke off, which I guess I expected. That's gluable though, so that's the good thing about um, bugs is that you can always glue things. So I'll put that here. Good old tacky glue. Then 
We got this foot. Yeah, Pickle's a very big mantis compared to um, all the rest of these. She's in line with um, the other. She's, yeah, really big. There we go. Then on to the front legs. And she's also missing her antenna. She was missing those when I found her. So, um, along with one of her feet on the front arm. Um, okay. So what we want to do here is kind of flatten her out if I can. Like that. And then get a pin right about here. And then a pin right about here. I think those are mostly in line. Yeah. And just to be safe, we will stick pins next to the thorax so it doesn't like um, bend in shape and get messed up. Cause yeah, they're kind of bendy and soft. And I need to reposition this, go straight in. There we go. So now she is in a straight line there. Okay. Then this one needs to go a little bit in more. Okay. <clears throat> then we will take this and move that. Up. Okay, we got that pin there. And we'll take this one there, I think, yeah. And then we take this. Actually, no, we don't want these here. That limits the movement of the arm because we want it to go forward. Okay. So, we want that there. There we go. Okay. Then we gotta get her foot pushed forward like this. Yeah, she's missing the tips of her feet because one was missing when I found her and the other one she bit off. Okay. Oop. There we go. Then I got to just do some repositioning. Oop. Yeah, I think it's too far forward, but yeah. 
And there we go. Like that. And then we just got to get the foot forward. If it will, I don't know if it will. I might have to just bend it with my fingers and it shouldn't break. Yeah, there we go. Just got to use my fingers and then that worked. Okay, then mm. the arms look pretty good. I gotta readjust this pin or at least do that. So yeah, she's still. So this needs to move over the tiniest bit, like that. I wish there was an easy way for me to get the head to stay up, but I don't think I can. And I don't want to mess with it because it would suck if it fell off. I mean, yeah, there's always glue, but still. Um, yeah, so that looks pretty good. Uh, there is the problem with, like, um, the feet not being as far back as the others, but that's always fixable once they dry in their position. So, um, basically, what happens now is these have to sit for about two weeks or so and then when they do um they will harden the, in the position they are left in like this so then all of these will be hardened into this position and then i can remove all of the extra pins and so um then they'll look nice and neat in here and of course these are kind of spaced out so i'm going to move them closer together and i might have room for another mantis as well or who knows, maybe I just want to leave them like that. Also, they're a little bit out of line, going slanted, so I'll fix that as well when I'm um, moving them after they've hardened. And then here we have an egg case of a Carolina Mantis um, and Pickle and Caramel, which are these two, Pickle, Caramel. They both laid eggs. Pickle had two egg cases, so I'm going to um, pin those in here after all the babies hatch. So then I'll have the egg cases of them with like caramel's egg case, then two of pickles. And then we got room for two more Chinese praying mantises here, which will be um, two of uh, pickles babies once they, um, once they grow up. Or maybe one of caramel's, one of pickles. Um, then yeah, we got to glue that foot onto here. But then yeah, it's pretty much done. And so there's our finished product with um, pinning pickle here. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.